Hawks hosting the Cavs, and the Cavs are two and a half point road favorites. The over under is at 231 and a half. The Cavs are minus 134 on the money line, and the Hawks are plus 114. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. Thank you to everyone who has joined my Discord and who continues to join it. If you've not done so yet, you could do so by visiting my website or clicking on the membership link in any one of my social media profiles. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets, my stats, the games that I bet on. If you have any questions, just shoot them in. The messages in there. College basketball is also in there exclusively. The Hawks are playing a back-to-back, and it doesn't look like they're playing any of their starters. And I keep hearing that Murray is a uh, rumor to be traded. You know, I know everyone keeps seeing the Lakers, but there's a few other teams apparently that might be in the running to actually get him. And who knows? Maybe because Trey Young is listed as out, it's something aside from his shoulder, and they're actually going to trade him, even though they said that they weren't going to. Uh, the Hawks are playing a back-to-back. They were home today. They beat the no. They were on the road today. They're traveling back to Atlanta from Miami. Head to head, the Hawks are six and four. The Cavs are on a two-game winning streak. The home team is on a five-game winning streak. The home team is eight and two. The favorites won and covered the last two games. The favorite is seven and three against the spread. The favorite is eight and two on the money line. Over under is five and five, and the over two thirty-one and a half is seven and three. But when the Hawks aren't playing any of their starters, that's going to be a tad bit difficult. They've played each other twice this year. The Cavs won both of those games in Cleveland, 128-105, and then 127-119. As far as the lineups are concerned, for the Cavs, it's going to be Mitchell, Struess, Okoro, Wade, and Allen, and Struess. Forgive me, not Struess. Um, the Cavs are 8-2 in their last 10, 7-3 seven and seven and against the spread, and the under is 7-2-1 and one in their last 10 games. They've won their last six games and they've covered their last three and they've covered five out of their last six 232 213 200 exactly and then 230 points they beat the spurs by two they beat the nets by nine they beat the uh bulls by 18 and then they beat the Giannis list bucks by 40 points just have to put that in perspective and the unders hitting their last four games for the Hawks, they're six and four in their last ten, four and six against the spread. The under is six and four. The under is hitting their last five games. They've won their last three. 226, then 208, 210, and then 217 points. They lost by 28 to the Wizards, then beat the Spurs by 10, beat the Magic by two, and squeaked by the Heat tonight in Miami by one. I'm gonna take Cleveland with the money line. I will take Cleveland laying the points, and I'm gonna go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.